Hey guys, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a review video on a foundation and so many of you guys have been requesting for me to do this foundation review even before I actually hauled it in my most recent haul video with my sister Dayang um, which was from the Sephora private sale and I'm sure you know what foundation it is it's gonna be on the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation so this is not going to be a first impression review because I've already tried it this is just going to be a review and demo and I'm just gonna share with you guys my thoughts on them I also did take a couple of clips when I first tried this foundation out for the first two days so I will insert that in um, at, towards the end of the video before I give my final thoughts on them before we begin, I'm just going to give a little bit of information about the product itself. It is one, it has one fluid ounce, which is 30 ml. It says that on the box, it says that it is NARS's first longwear foundation that looks stronger, stays longer with skin recognition pigments for the truest color match and 16 hours of wear. Um, so I'm on the Sephora website right now and um, this foundation actually has 33 shades and it has full coverage it is suitable for they say all skin types and it has a radiant finish just like the product says so yes that's pretty much it i'm in singapore this retails for 76 singapore dollars and i'm in the shade santa fe I got Santa Fe because I this is the shade that I go for and that I like for myself in my other NARS foundations. Yep, so this is what the packaging looks like. Unlike the Aldi Luminous Weightless Foundation, it's longer, thinner and the glass is not frosted, it's actually a clear glass. It also comes with a pump which I really appreciate. What I'm going to do for this uh, re demo part of this video is that I'm going to apply half my face um, with the foundation using a beauty sponge, a damp beauty sponge. And on the other half, I'm going to be using my flat top kabuki brush. For the last couple of weeks that I have been using this foundation ever since I got it, um, or did my haul, I've been applying it using a wet beauty sponge and I have not tried using a brush yet so we're gonna see how the finish is like um, when I blend the foundation in with a brush. I'm going to prime my skin, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer and then I'm going to scoot you guys in closer and then we can start applying the foundation. Alright, so now that you're closer um, to my face, I don't have any makeup on actually. Um, and I have just applied my primer. Now I'm going to pump out the foundation. I'm going to do um, one pump, one pump for half a face and one pump for the other. So this is the consistency. As you can see, it's not as runny as the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. It's actually still quite like, um, not thick, but it doesn't like drip, if you know what I mean. Okay, now I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to blend everything in. So immediately you can see the coverage that it gives. Alright, so this is half my face done um, with one pump of the foundation and blended in using a beauty sponge. Now I'm going to do the other half of my face but using a brush. Off the bat, because this is my first time um, blending it in, blending the foundation in using a brush, I can safely say that when you use a brush, you definitely get higher coverage, which is relatively normal for um, like foundation application uh, anyway. Because when you use a damp beauty sponge, it um, it absorbs the excess product. Right. So this is my side of the face blended in with the. Um, brush um, personally I feel that I prefer to blend it blend the foundation in with a sponge because I feel that it gives a nicer I don't know I just like how it looks like even though to be honest it actually looks quite similar there's not much of a stark difference all right so now I'm going to apply my concealer 
It's when I'm going to set my face with the Beauty Bakery um, flour powder in yellow. Alright, so this is my face after I've applied the foundation, the concealer and also a little bit of powder all over my skin. So you can tell that after I've applied the powder, um, there's a little bit of radiance still but majority of it is actually toned down quite a bit. Um, and for now, it looks really matte because I just powdered it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face and I'll be right back to show you how the whole look and how my skin looks like after I applied all of, my, um, all of the other makeup on my face. Alright you guys, so I'm back and I've already applied the rest of my makeup um, because I really just applied you know, the foundation and my makeup. Um, the foundation is still looking pretty good and not like oily or like overly shiny or whatsoever. So it's pretty much setting right now and um, it feels very nice on the skin. It's very, It feels very lightweight. I usually don't feel anything when I put on the foundation at all. It doesn't feel thick. So now onto a little bit of like a check-in situation that I did when I first applied the foundation or tried the foundation. On the day I first tried out this foundation, I went for Bruno Mars' concert, which was so freaking good. I loved the concert, but... I digress. So on that day, I went to work as per normal. So I had my makeup on or my foundation on since about 7, 7.30 and I only came home at around 11 or 11.30 at night after the concert. I am going to insert a clip that I took after the concert ended. So I'm just going to put it right now. Hey guys, so I have on the NARS Radiant Longwear foundation that I bought and I just jumped and danced at Google Mars and this is how it looks like. I touched up at about 6 just now because it was getting oily but this for the most part is how my face looks like. Um, yeah. I think it really did very well. Um, after dancing and after dancing, jumping, So as you can see from that clip I shared earlier, I that was how my makeup looked like after uh, about two hours of like dancing, jumping and like just singing to Bruno Mars. Um, and to be honest, I was super, super, super impressed with the, with the foundation because um, even after all of that fracas and all of that like jumping around my makeup still looked pretty good except for the fact that I was a bit like sweaty because it was pretty like like there's so many people around me and I was just jumping and like I it was I did sweat when I was you know at Bruno Mars so um, I did look a little bit shiny on certain areas however I was super impressed because I did not experience any like breakage on like my nose and like you know my smile lines which are one of my pro which is one of my problem areas and I was super impressed with it like I like I really felt that the foundation held up really well under the circumstance that I was in. Yeah, I did have that foundation on for 16 full hours ever since in the morning until like I came home at night after the concert. And it really, to me, it really held up super well. You have to understand how much I was jumping and dancing around. It was really insane. And then the second day, I did take um, a, like a short clip and it was just very like, it was was nothing much it's just that I was just trying to show how my face looked like um, in the office so that I've shared with you guys all of the like the demo and then the check-ins that I did when I first tried the foundation I'm gonna give you my thoughts on them okay so bottom line is for someone like me I have combination dry skin I love glowy looking skin I love dewy looking skin I do not leave the house if I'm wearing makeup without highlighter so this foundation is like an amazing one for me it has 
amazing coverage i love the radiant glow that it gives me especially once like um it has settled into my skin and like when i go out and everything the glow is just insane i love it um the downside that i don't like about it is that it's really expensive it's like 76 bucks now on to like whether i would recommend it to you guys okay so you know that uh we live in for me i live in singapore and i live in the equatorial region if you didn't know and basically our weather here is very unforgiving no matter what kind of foundation i use whether it's mattifying or not no matter how much i bake my skin i will still look shiny throughout the day to me this is something that's very normal that will happen to anybody and everybody unless even those who have dry skin you may experience like shininess because it's just the nature of like where we live so with that being said um i don't i don't think this foundation will be great for those with oily skin even though they say that it's like for all skin types but i mean let's be real if you already have oily skin and you're gonna put you're gonna wear it wear this foundation in a country with a climate like in singapore you may have to put in the extra effort to powder to blot to prepare your skin properly and to prepare your skin like skincare wise and also for prepare your skin for makeup so meaning to say like your primer um, your setting spray and all that kind of shit but if you do have oily skin and you want to try this foundation and you like the dewy look um, I, I, I think that it's a good one to try it's just that you have to bear in mind that you will look shiny throughout the day I find that you cannot fault the foundation for doing so it's already on the bottle and it says that it's a natural radiant long wear foundation so radiant is the keyword here and you can't expect something that is marketed to be radiant to be mattifying or to be like oil free you know what i mean so just manage your expectations accordingly let me know in the comment section down below if you have purchased this foundation and what you think about it about it and if you have any tips on how to make it look great throughout the day especially when you're living in like an area similar to myself like in the equatorial region right so you all know that now is ramadan so i hope that you guys are having a great ramadan so far for those uh, for my muslim subscribers um, speaking of subscribers i know that i have some new ones so thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel um, i really appreciate it and i hope that you find my content useful and last but not least before i leave um, let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see me do an aid makeup tutorial or an aid makeup look um, and what kind of look that you want me to do and i'll try to film it for you guys just in time for aid don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight and i hope that you know this um, review was helpful for you and i hope to see you guys soon in my next video